Hey guys, what's Gucci? It's uh, Triple J Boxing here. And uh, today I want to talk about um, Terrence Bud Crawford versus <clears throat> Gervonta Tang Davis. If this fight ever did happen, which I don't really see it happening anytime soon. Because I, I just, I really feel like the, like, Tank's team... Why would they just throw him in with Crawford? I, I just... It makes no sense. Like, you could say, oh, yeah, but he fought... Um, he fought Ryan Garcia, right? But Ryan Garcia was green, and he knew it. Though it was a good match, I'm not going to say it wasn't a good match, and I wanted to see it. They knew that they had the experience edge, and that Ryan Garcia... Maybe maybe they knew that he couldn't beat him, right? And that's why they took the fight. Like, I still gave Ryan Garcia a chance, but his lack of experience was definitely showed up during the fight. And that's why Tank's team took that fight. They knew that. They were smart about it. So, not to say Tank doesn't take any risks, which Ryan Garcia is a risk. But it's the same way when Floyd fought Canelo like Canelo wasn't in his prime he was too green though it's still a risk but it's not if say Floyd fought him right now or three years ago right it would be a totally different story so yeah like Tank's not gonna want the Crawford fight Crawford's so experienced he's powerful he's bigger he can't beat Crawford and I would be shocked <clears throat> if this fight got made, to be honest, because I don't see it being made anytime soon. And if it does get made, it'll get made like years from now, if it ever does get made. Um, but I don't know, surprise me, Tank. Challenge Crawford. Because that would be nuts. That'd be nuts if he did. And it's not like it's really far fetched. Like, I know Tank's a small guy. Like,. What did he fight Ryan Garcia? Was it a catchweight? I think it was a catchweight of like 138. I could be wrong or something like that. 139 or... But I know Tank has fought at the 140 pound division before... What is it? One or two times if you count the Ryan Garcia fight. And then uh, most of his fights have been below that though. Below 140. So it's not like totally far-fetched. But... It definitely a huge step up the welterweights from the 135 pounders and his body frame I don't know if he can support like welterweight would be the absolute max he could probably go to if he was going to go up in weight and he is almost 30 so his body isn't gonna stop it's it's stopped putting on weight I would say like this is gonna be his final divisions like usually when a guy moves up it's usually like like say if he weighed this he was in this weight class at like 20 years old at 140 then it or 135 it makes sense that his body would still put on some mass right but he's fully grown he's almost 30 this like he's maxed out i think so for his body frame Gervonta Tank Davis 147 would be the absolute max, but if he could challenge Crawford and beat him, like that, that'd be crazy. But that the fight, he's not beating Crawford, and he's not even challenging Crawford, so it won't matter. But I just want to know you guys' thoughts on it. Like, um, how would that matchup go if it actually happened at welterweight? Um, I see a stoppage by the ref. I don't know if he'll knock him out cold, but. Tank seems kind of... He seems durable. Like, he would put up a fight until the end, but... I feel like he'd just be outmatched. Like, it'd be one of those... It'd be kind of similar to, like, Lomachenko versus, like, a Rigondeau. It'd be kind of, like, embarrassing in a sense, I feel like. Like, you would have a guy that you th was so good at timing people. He has, like, <clears throat> great skills. But then he faces a guy that's bigger. A little bit bigger. In, in this case, a lot bigger. Crawford's a lot bigger than, uh, I would say Lomachenko is bigger than Rigondeau. And, um, 
Yeah, so the skills, he's bigger. And it, it would just... It would be a one-sided fight, I think. Um, it would be a... It would be kind of... You would feel bad for Tank in the fight, I think. That's how bad of it of a beatdown it would be. It wouldn't even be... It'd be similar to the Spence fight, but it'd be even more, like... More knockdowns, more... Tank would have to sell out and really reach in, which Spence wasn't really... Doesn't have to do that because he has longer arms, but I feel like Tank would have to really extend himself to get in, and he would get caught with a counter coming in and get dropped pretty hard. It'd be kind of like the McGregor Aldo, where he would just come in and just get smack, right? Um... So that's how I think the fight would go. It would last a couple rounds, but it would be similar to the Lomachenko Rigondeaux, but it would be like with way more explosiveness, right? You would get not way more knockdowns. Like I don't think, I don't know if you ever knocked down Rigondeaux Lomachenko, but it'd be similar to that, but with knockdowns, and uh, and he might do the the stanky leg, and uh, Crawford get the win, but. He'd be on Bambi legs, which, yeah, like, how about you guys? What do you guys think? I just think that, um, not saying he can't get it done, but I think his body frame is like, he's even, he's smaller than Pacquiao, I think. And Pacquiao had way more, like, foot speed than he did, than Gervonta. So, yeah, like... Not saying he can't get it done, but he would be like a ten to one underdog, I assume. It would be pretty heavy odds if the fight were to happen next. Um obviously he has a puncher's chance, but I just don't see him getting in safely without getting countered, is what I would see. And it would just be a matter of time before he gets dropped pretty hard with a counter by Crawford. So Fight's probably not going to happen. I think the trainer of Gervonta said it's not going to happen recently. So it's a fantasy matchup that, like, it'd be. It's a shame we can't just get these fights, like, because they're big fights, and I don't know. People got to be dare to be great, but like, they don't want to do that, right? But yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, Give credit to Tank, though. He did fight Ryan. Even though Ryan was green, it was still, still a good fight, good challenge. But Crawford is a totally different animal, and he's experienced. So they know that, and they won't fight him. So Anyway, guys, uh, don't know who's who they're going to fight next, um, Crawford. But um, anyone he fights is going to beat, so... Thanks for watching, guys. It's Triple J. Take care.